Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, starting on this four hour time frame for Bitcoin. Because taking a look at the Fibonacci levels here, we can see a clear rejection so far from this Fibonacci golden pocket sitting between 67.9K and 68.1K for the Bitcoin price. And I do think that this is a significant level to break here in the short term, especially coming into this new trading week for Bitcoin. This will be a first critical signal to look out for on the lower time frames. One thing that is actually quite important as well, considering that we are currently at 67.6K, is actually this Bitcoin CME gap at about 67.3k for the bitcoin price because this is a little bit down from where we are currently trading and i do think that in the short term this is something important to be aware of because typically over 90 percent of cme gaps tend to get filled and i do think it is likely that before we get some kind of significant move to the upside here that we would first have to fill this cme gap because yeah the odds are simply favoring that this will happen now as far as the big support and resistance levels go we are basically still trading in this range here between this big level of resistance sitting from 67.5k all the way up to 70,000 US dollars and this big level of support below that from 66,000 all the way down to 65,000 US dollars. So before we can expect anything really significant to happen, we kind of need to break outside of this range that we have been trading in over the past like week or so. Until then, we are basically just chopping sideways and nothing is really going on. So during times like that, where in the short term, nothing much is going on, I always like to take a look at the higher time frames as well. So here on this one day time frame, you can see that we are still just chopping around on top of this descending channel for Bitcoin. And even though currently we are lacking some momentum, technically we are still just in the middle of this breakout, getting a breakout, a retest, and then potential resumption to the upside from here. I would add to that as well that on this weekly time frame, this is honestly not looking too bad. The only thing that is kind of uh, worrying here is that this pattern here, this broadening wedge pattern, is showing that there is some limited room to the upside right now until we actually break out of this pattern. This is a cup and handle pattern on the one day time frame, currently still above the point of the breakout. So technically we are therefore targeting this 80,000 US dollar level for the Bitcoin price. Now, of course, as I talked about before, if we actually confidently break down below the point of the breakout here, then that should be a bit of a warning signal in the short term, potentially pointing towards another bigger move to the downside, perhaps to one of these trend lines here. But for now, I don't think any of that is really relevant because technically we are still breaking out to the upside. So for now on the daily time frame, I think the key level to watch is a daily candle close below 66,000 for the Bitcoin price, because then we can confidently say that we have closed below the point of the breakout invalidating this pattern right here so before i move on into the bitcoin liquidation heat map let's first of all kind of recap everything i just talked about so on the short term this is looking slightly bearish we still have that CME gap down below, just a little bit lower from where we are currently getting rejected on the lower time frames. So therefore, I would say on the lower time frames, we are looking a little bit more bearish in the short term. Also taking into consideration that we are trading in this big level of resistance here for Bitcoin. But at the same time, on the daily time frame, this is actually looking all right so far because we haven't invalidated those bullish patterns that I was talking about earlier in the video. And especially on that weekly time frame, I actually think this is looking the best out of all of the time frames here so that is potentially something interested to take into consideration as well now if we take a look at the three day bitcoin liquidation heat map you can see that now we have some liquidity to the upside and to the downside which is something quite typical to see after a bitcoin weekend because yeah over the weekend usually we are just trading sideways as you can see right here in this chart here either way for now most of the liquidity is actually to the upside at about 69,000. And we also have a big pocket of liquidity at about 68.4K. However, do keep in mind that we do have some liquidity to the downside as well on this three day time frame at about 66.5K for the Bitcoin price. 
and there's even some liquidity at about 67.1k so if this actually turns out to be a bit stronger of a rejection from that fibonacci golden pocket these could be some potential price targets for bitcoin in the short term in this following week here either way this has been today's market update don't forget to check out the exchanges in the video description down below because here you can trade with some of the lowest fees in the crypto space regardless if you do end up checking out these exchanges or not thank you for watching once again and i will see you tomorrow in the next one